Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and it's cast time once again. And then, um, I do need to say this real quick. Uh, there, we've got a thunderstorm coming in. Um, it's supposed to be here around midnight to one, but, uh, from last I looked, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty big one. Uh, there's, like, large hail, strong winds, etc. So, um, I need to get this, uh, I need to get this all taken care of and uploaded and all that before that, in case my apartment decides to black out. So, uh, so, for the most part, a good chunk of this video was just kind of cobbled together fairly quickly. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm basically I'm basically doing this about an hour early. Um, it's it's 11 p.m. right now. Usually, I like doing these around midnight, so I gotta do this like an hour early. Anyway, anyway um, the music. Oh, I gotta do this real quick. Get that out of there. Clearing out a couple windows. Get that out of there. But anyway, um, the music is gonna be AFK, ruled by the insane, and it's some uh, 2019 hardcore punk. And uh, this is, I believe, this music came from uh, either Dresden or Bresden, Germany. So. It's German music here um, and it this music might be a bit on the distracting side if it gets to be too bad I might have had I might have been forced to to abandon this music and play something lighter but this is um kind of a I'm playing this in kind of celebration of actually finding some hardcore music that uh that isn't copyrighted so yeah this stuff's free to use um I forget the name of the channel but um I found two of their albums that weren't copyrighted, so they're free to use. So I might end up uh, subbing to them. So well, go ahead and get her going. Oh, and also, like yesterday, um, I'm doing this in a totally different style. Um, like I said, I I tried it yesterday. It seemed it seemed okay. It's a little more easier for me, but uh, again, I'm still I'm still fairly new to this, so again, don't be surprised if I make a few goops here and there. Uh, but otherwise, for the uh, for the daily pinball session, yeah, this time around, uh, unlike yesterday, it actually went pretty good. So, just I think I'm getting um. Getting basically a full eight hours of sleep actually helped a full, you know, a full uninterrupted eight hours. You know, it isn't like most other sleeps I've had where it's like, you know, where you like you get, you know, get six or seven or whatever, but it's like dream nightmare build and you know all sorts of other, you know, all sorts of other crap, sinus problems, you know, etc. Nope, this time around, full complete eight hours. So. Yeah, so I had plenty of, had plenty of energy to you know actually do a decent pinball stream. It wasn't like yesterday. Where um I believe I called it the zero sum curse. Uh it's where uh, I would like make a great shot, but then totally fuck up afterwards. So it was this time today, a good solid performance. Um I mean for FX3, um I actually won a few tournaments. And then, um, and then on a lot of the others, a lot of the others, I actually, I actually got high ranking. I don't, I don't think I had any bad ranks, or there might have been one. No, I think there's uh, two where I got dead last, but all the rest of them, uh, good solid performance. Uh, Pinball Arcade, kind of the same thing, did real good, but, uh, I did have to, for a good chunk of the tables, I did have to do it in two player mode, or what I call handicap mode. Gotta have that extra player in there as backup, as insurance. So, but um, I think uh, I know a good chunk of my, uh, a good chunk of my big losses though. Um, I was pretty much on the receiving end of some, uh, Players using uh, 
acts, you know, uh, trainers, that kind of thing. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea here for. Him. I gotta, I gotta type something down here. Hold on. Uh, yeah, screw it, screw it. Um. Anyway, though, but yeah, but a, a good chunk of my losses actually came from uh, players who cheated, basically cheated to win. Or, you know, what I've been, and I've been, I've been saying it. Almost ever since the start of playing FX3, that um, you know, this game here it really needs to make use of a replay feature, you know, automatically recording all of your sessions. You know that way. So, I mean, if some of these, some of these first place finishes, sometimes second place as well, they're like way above like what the second place person got. It just, it just makes me real suspicious, you know. I, I mean, if the, if the scores were all fairly close, I would have, you know, I would have called it a legit tournament. But you know, on some of these, I'm gonna need some, you know, I'm gonna need to see some verification on these. You know, otherwise, at least in my mind, um, you've been disqualified from the tournament. It's almost like. It's almost like he was using steroids in sporting events. And yeah, this yeah, this is this is it ain't working. Yeah, this music's too distracting. I like it, but I need to I need to focus on being able to talk, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna switch over to another um another album, probably something lighter. So Okay, I'll go with this. Yeah. Luckily, I still have this in my uh, watch later. So, anyway, this next one here, this is going to be uh, Cathedral. Um, Cultus Van... Uh, Saranak, or however the hell you pronounce it, it's some dungeon synth, drone ambient, and uh, this one here in particular, at least to me, it kind of stands out. Um, this one here was actually made in uh, was actually made right here in my home state of Minnesota, so some homegrown dungeon synth right here. But yeah, it, the stuff's kind of lighter, um, less distracting, so. Anyway, sorry for that. But like I was saying, you know, I've I've been saying this I've been saying this for years, but FX3 really needs a replay feature. You know, so when somebody gets a, a score that was like way above everybody else's, you know, I'd like to you know I'd like to see some verification on that. You know, I want to see some proof. Otherwise, I'm again I'm at least in my mind, you've been disqualified. Otherwise, I'm gonna need an explanation as to how the hell you got that awesome score you did when nobody else in that tournament did. But, but otherwise, like I said, um, real good session. You know, it's just amazing what happens when you get plenty of sleep so anyway um like I said yesterday but uh this time around I'm only gonna be able, I'm only really gonna have time to do one of the one of the two articles that I mentioned yesterday um this is another one done by a Jessica Wildfire I'm sure if you guys seen my other cast videos this is me nothing new to you um, 
But this time around, she talks about the... I don't know the... I don't know the name of the, the school shooting, or the most current one. I just know that, uh, like, uh, one of the other school shootings, uh, the cops basically stood outside and did nothing. They just stood out there while this, uh, guy just went in and started blowing away everybody. Well, apparently, a couple teachers were also killed as well. So, Jessica Wildfire found out about this and she made an article about it. So, like usual, just gonna go ahead and do some commentary on this. Oh, I gotta... I gotta sound check this. Okay, I'm just gonna say close enough. Alright, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea here real quick. stop a mass shooter from marching into an elementary school where he oh yeah that's pretty damn bad they're literally standing just outside the door to the school okay I kept thinking they're like they were like sitting out like in a parking lot or across the street or something you know away from the gunfire So, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this, but let me, uh, let me look at this real quick. Oh, 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 no, no, pause, pause. Wrong decision, period, to wait 45 minutes before entering classroom to confront Ovalde gunman. Yeah, that's pretty damn bad. Yeah, or the kid. Yeah, the, their dead teacher is phoned to call nine one one. many of those parents were actually armed though so in this context here I I could all I would lean slightly towards the police so at least with me they were right in stopping the parents rushing in because that just would have meant more casualties now if those parents were armed you know if they had firearms or a weapon or something you know and, and yeah let them through I mean hell the fucking cops ain't gonna do anything Threaten them with tasers? Now in order to reflect responsibility, those police are... I really wish I would... You know, and I I almost regret not playing that... Playing that uh, AFK music, the hardcore punk. It would have been perfect for this article, but like I said, it's, it's too distracting. I'm having a hard time concentrating. It's kind of hard for me to... Kind of hard to talk and headbang at the same time. <laughs> They've decided to blame a teacher. Okay. She propped open the door and that's what killed the kids. Ted Cruz spent the second half of the week complaining about doors. Don't have all these doors. Have one. <laughs> God damn! Republican House candidate blames teachers for Texas school shooting. Yeah. Blames. 
Those damn pesky liberal teachers. Teachers that molded this kid to a killer. God damn. Guns don't kill children, teachers do. Yup. Happens all the time. Read Demoralized by Dora Santoro. Um. Never heard of her. Okay, you know what? Alright, I'm going back. I'll tough it out. But, uh. Okay, yeah, going back. Like I said, with what I'm reading right now, I've got to have this hardcore punk music playing, even though it, even though it is distracting. Doesn't matter how smart we are. Doesn't matter how much training we get. Nobody listens to us. The many. Yup. Playing for Here we go. Planets burning, mass shootings happen every day, gun violence is the number one cause of death for children. Their future is working 70 hours a week at a job that doesn't buy food or shelter. Go to one, that's blame. Yup. It kinda reminds me. Kind of reminds me of a uh, the all-time classic movie Die Hard. Have you ever seen the interaction between like between the cops, the FBI, um, the public utilities people? You know what? You know, listen to the dialogue and interaction between those guys. Yeah, they're good at one thing, and that's blaming. I mean, again, if you ever, if you ever watch Die Hard, that's exactly what's going on. Something fucked up happened in the uh, Nakatomi Plaza Tower. And everybody's looking for somebody to blame for. It. Taking another drink. Don't surprise me. Yup. Yup. Oh god. Bill Maher had a Bill Maher had a He had a he had a he had an episode about this. Survey, massive staff shortages, schools. Here it is. The massive staff shortages in schools lead to educator burnout. Yep. Alarming number of educators indicating the plan. Yep. And um, it's like that in my job too, and in a lot of other jobs I've worked for over the worked in over the years too. Um, the fewer people they are, or the more short staffed we are, the more likely the few people that are there want to quit. Because now that that whole workload gets transferred onto us, you know, maybe we wouldn't be so burned out and wanting to quit if we had, you know, if we had more people helping us. But it also has to be said too that the help needs to actually help. Uh, for one, they uh, need to at least speak English. Yeah. Um, recently at my job, they decided to go ahead and hire a bunch of, uh, like, a, hire a bunch of Arabian Muslims that don't speak English. How the fuck are we supposed to tell them what to do? Or show them, how, show them what to do? And, um, our, and uh, my managers at night, I don't think it's their fault. I mean, I don't, think, I don't think they're the ones that do the hiring. 
but you know, I I don't you know I don't really appreciate you know. Oh, Joe, you got you got Muslim number one and Muslim number two tonight. You know, or when a manager gets mad, or yeah, when a manager gets mad because stuff isn't getting done, you know, quick enough for his liking. You don't want to tell him. Well, I don't know what to say to him. You kind of get the idea, though. I got to... Back to the task at hand. So, yeah. So, yeah. They're planning on quitting their jobs. Teachers don't have a job. They have 10. Or, another way of looking at it, they have however many kids are in their classroom. That's how many jobs they have. Yeah. Bingo. I mean, I'm not even a teacher. I don't... I mean, I... Don't really want the job, but yeah, she fucking nailed it right here. Public speakers or content creators or performers, caregivers, psychologists, life coaches, social workers, surrogate parents. <laughs> surrogate parents. Especially like elementary schools and stuff. First responders, experts in their fields or babysitters. Apparently it's not enough. No, they gotta be bodyguards. Give us drugs, we know how that'll play out. Okay, make us buy our own. You know, where to pay? Where to pay for crayons and markers? So we'll buy guns. They won't give us funding for training or even a good place to store them. Um, kind of a related yet unrelated note at my job. Uh, Walmart, they uh, instituted a dress code some uh, some odd years ago, but we had to pay for it. Like, we had to buy new shirts and pants and stuff like that. They had to be a certain color. We had to pay for it out of our own pockets. So, yeah, totally relatable there. Yup. A teacher will shoot a student, especially when burnout's involved. A teacher will get a hold of a teacher's gun and shoot someone. We'll get blamed. Yup. Surprise me. Liberals want teachers to fight bullies and fascism. They'll tell us we're on the front lines of democracy. Yup. Don't blame anybody but themselves. Nurses, during a pandemic, we can be soldiers. Lovely. They want me to orphan my three year old daughter. their bodyguards for people's kids because the right won't give up guns or we're soldiers in the battle for democracy because <laughs> liberals can't win elections yep and again I think um Bill Maher had like an episode or two where he talked about that same thing teachers are overworked and in, in that sense too we teach all day we create all night farmers kind of farmers are like that too uh, my brother-in-law used to be one for a good chunk of his life. He used to be a farmer. That's what he said too. You know, you spend all day planting crops or harvesting crops, but you spend the rest of your your downtime, for lack of a better word, cleaning up your equipment, doing equipment maintenance. So farming is almost a 24 hour a day job. Yup. Pretty awkward too. For cashiers where your Uber driver will deliver your takeout. Yup. In fact, uh I had a history teacher. Um, I was in eleventh or twelfth grade. It was when I started uh bagging groceries at a grocery store. Uh, but that very same history teacher, he'd be a cut he'd be a customer. I'd be bagging his groceries, carrying them out for him, and then after that, see you at school tomorrow. So really awkward I mean I get it's up uh, I mean it gets he's just a customer at a grocery store but you know still you know, I tend to put I tend to put teachers 
teachers on a pretty high pedestal, like they're the the gods of knowledge, I guess. I get one way of looking at it. But then after that, the teachers go back to their uh, mon to their monolithus. We're not gonna say we have summer examples. Nope, not quite. Okay, I'm not gonna go too in depth on the rest of this. And even then, I might end up shutting up. Even then, I might end up uh, stopping soon because it's 11:30 right now, 11:30 p.m. And like I said, the storm's supposed to come in around um, between midnight to one. So, like I said, I need to have this all squared away before then. Kind of hard to do a cast video when your apartment's blacked out. Teachers talk about their jobs, they hate it when we protest. Good. The rage against the machine line uh, that goes, Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. It definitely comes to mind as I'm reading this. Of course, I totally contradicted what I said. Yeah, I'm not going to highlight anything in the rest of this article, but here I am. Okay, um, I think in this part here, she's starting to lose me. And, um, and something that I often forget to say in all these other Jessica Wildfire articles, I don't always read them from beginning to end. Because, again, there's parts, there's parts of this where she kind of loses me. It's not that I disagree with her, but it just, it kind of goes in one eye and out the other over my head, that kind of thing. I think we're coming to that point. My, uh, my mouse is starting to stick. I have been exposed myself to diseases, have been working nights and weekends, have been going to conferences and workshops, have not made myself available. Yup, yup. I kind of do this with my job too. Treating teaching like a regular job. I mean, that's how I am at my job too. You know, I used to come in on my days off and stuff like that. But years of uh, injury and burnout, I can't really do that anymore. Plus, uh, I'm not a fan of a uh, I'm not a fan of one or two of the managers that work at my store or that work on my shift. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink. In fact, uh, uh, one of my, uh, one of my most, one of the most divisive books I've ever read. I kind of, I both loved it and hated it. Atlas Shrugged by Anne Rand. She said, um, in a John Galt speech, she called it the mind on strike. You know, do no more than what's barely necessary. Just, you know, don't... I mean, you're basically working for parasites, but she's basically saying the same thing, too. You do too good of a job, they expect it. But, I mean, I'm not... I'm not, you know, I'm not strictly like that, but you kind of get the idea. She's doing the same thing, too. Just like a regular job. She ain't going above and beyond. Not when you get punished for it. Students actually like it. Yeah. They hate school too. Yeah, they don't. Yep. 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 Focus on the basics. And that's exactly how I am too when I'm teaching off. When I'm teaching new hires. I I only I only try to give them the basic stuff. Just barely enough for them to get by. 
game. Especially when part of the crew doesn't even speak English. No point in explaining anything to them then. You only tell them what they need to know. I'm trying to be the kind of super teacher my boss and politicians say I need to be. Yeah. Yup. Yup. Yep, teachers are this country is CYA. Cover your ass. Yep. Looks like Atlas, Atlas is shrugging. Okay, so. But uh, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good. Like I said, it's 11.35 p.m. right now. So I need to get this video uploaded by midnight. Because, because once again, I mean, we, between midnight to 1, we're getting a huge thunderstorm. So I got to get it all squared away before then. So, But otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So... But until then, thanks again for coming by, and see you all next time. Bye now.